Christine, Libby, Carol, Amy, Amanda. Hi, everybody. Oh, it is so good to see you all. It has been forever since I have gone live, hasn't it? Oh, my goodness. Hi to everybody. I'm going to do a couple of things here just to get, um, I'll call it some housekeeping here, just to get this all set up straight so I can see the live chat here and interact with you all. Let's see, let me get that going here. How is everybody doing? Oh, thank you for the congrats. I was not expecting to go live today and you all obviously know by the thumbnail that you got what came today and I am so super excited that it finally came. It, it kind of feels surreal because it took so long for it to get here and I just felt like it was never going to come and um, it came and um, yeah, so oh goodness and, and I miss going live. It has been forever and I miss seeing you all and interacting with you all and chatting with you all. Goodness me. Hi, everybody. Angel, you're saying your window is too small. I don't know. Is the picture really small? Okay, let's see if I'm doing something wrong. Hold on. Is that helping any? Yes. The, um, let's see. Whoa, whoa. Hello, Nelly. Let's see here. I don't know what's going on. Let's see. Is that better, guys? Okay, good. It, I'm on a new uh, live stream, and I'm not sure how it works, and so it's kind of funky, and I wasn't anticipating it being new. I knew the old way of doing it, and so it kind of, yeah, it still looks funky on mine to me, too. I wonder... I don't know. Okay, I'm just going to leave it like that. Better but not great. I don't know what's going on. And I would say, um, let me go off and back on, but I don't want to do that to you all. Hold on, let me see. Um... Oh, previewing scale. Scale to window. Let's see. Oh, I feel like that just made it smaller. The window on this Kayla is like really small and I don't know why it's, well, holy cow, that just made it worse. Hmm. Like, I don't know what's going on. Oh, like, your life? Yeah. You like, guys. Yeah. <laughs> um, technical difficulties, Kayla is here and she's going to fix it. I did that and it like blew it up even well, bigger. Listen, you did this? Yeah. Did you click that one? Why, I don't, what's the problem? I don't know what happened. Okay, I'm going to leave it. Everybody's saying just leave it. So we're going to leave it and not waste any time. And now I know next time that I need to like look into why it did that because I don't know why. So yay. Oh, everybody's saying hi to you, Kayla. Hey. Kayla says hi back. Okay, so yes, look at what came. I am going to hold it up because I am so stinking excited. And it is because of all of you that I have this. Oh my goodness, look at this beautiful box, you guys. Isn't it so pretty? I am so excited. And um, yeah, it has not been open. I actually went to pick up Allie from school and Kayla FaceTimed me, letting me know that it came. And I was like, why is Kayla FaceTiming me for? Here, I'll hold it on this side. And when she put this up to the camera, I was like, oh my goodness, it came. How exciting is that? So yeah. What's in it? Bigger but blurry. Oh, you guys, I'm so sorry. Wow. Mm, they're saying bigger but blurry. I don't know why it's doing that. Mm. Did it get all small? 
well, it was originally super small, but I don't know what happened. Like it's never done that before, so I don't know why it's doing it now. But oh, someone said it's not blurry at all. Not blurry. Oh, okay. Okay, well then we will worry about it later. But yes, it came and so in all honesty, guys, I didn't want to open this unless I was live with you because I just felt like it's because of all of you that I have this. And honestly, I wouldn't be here if there was no you. And I know that probably sounds cliche in a way, but it really is the truth. You viewers and you subscribers are the ones who make it for us YouTube creators to do what we're doing. And so without you, I couldn't do what I'm doing. There would no be no Kelly Barlow Creations channel. And so honestly, for that, I am so grateful because, because of you guys, I got to achieve a G dream and a goal and an ambition that I've wanted to achieve for three years. And you guys all made it possible. And so I am super, super uh, thankful for that. And so I, I think that we shouldn't wait any longer. What do you think? Should we just hurry up and open it? Uh, yeah, open, open, open. <laughs> <laughs> so let's open it. I'm going to switch the camera so you can see my hands and you guys are going to get to see it too. Okay, so excuse, you can see the camera and everything. It's not the best view, but it is what it is today. So I've got my safety cutter. We are going to open this bad boy up and oh my word, Kayla, come here. You have to be here. I'm telling Kayla to hurry up and get in here so she can see it. Kayla! Oh, there it is. Okay. Okay. I'm excited. Drum roll, please. I'm so super excited. Oh my goodness, I can't believe it. It's here. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's still taped. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. Okay. Okay, now it's really open. Oh my goodness, here we go, you guys. Oh my god. Ah! It's silver. Oh my goodness, I can't wait. Okay, just Oh, there's a letter. It says hello from Kelly. YouTube. You've just done something that very few YouTube creators accomplish. You had an astonishing hundred thousand people su subscribe to your channel. We know that number on YouTube can get really big, but we hope that you don't lose sight of the reality behind the six-digit milestone. Each and every person who has subscribed to your channel, which is all of you guys, has been touched by what you create. They are inspired, challenged, and entertained. Okay, guys, I'm crying. <laughs> okay, we're going to look at the button because there it is. Oh wow. my gosh. <laughs> oh, those ones look so nice. Oh, wow. Look at how pretty that is. And right there, it says Kelly Barlow Creations for passing 100,000 subscribers. Isn't that beautiful? Guys, <laughs> really, that is... um. This year is an absolute dream come true, and wow, isn't it pretty? Look at how pretty that is. Oh, okay, I'm going to read some of these comments. Oh, goodness. That play button is so pretty. This is really pretty. I got to tell you, I had my heart set on the original one, nah, but seeing these this, ones are so is, much this thing is gorgeous, and... Wowzers. I like this one. And like seeing my channel name on there, guys. Look at that. There's That's my so channel cool. name. That is so stinking awesome. And it is so beautiful. And wow. Thank you all. That is incredible. And you know, this journey that I'm on with YouTube, and it's never going to end. Like this is a journey that I'm going to stay on for as long as the journey will have me. And uh, that really is, you know, up to God how long this is going to last. And I just pray that it continues because not only do I want it to continue because I love doing it, but my favorite part of doing YouTube is when I hear you all say that I inspire you. 
or that I somehow helped you or somehow touched your life because really that is all it's about to me. When I started this channel was I remembered when I was just a single mom of two kids and I lived on my own and I worked seven days a week bartending at Applebee's. And sometimes I worked from open to close because I did what I had to do to make ends meet for me and my kids. And I just remember how hard it was. And I didn't have a lot of money to decorate the house that I was renting at the time. And I remember I didn't have money for, for curtains and I made curtains out of flat sheets. And I thought, wow, these are really nice. And from there, I just started crafting my way and getting creative with ways to decorate my house. And I think that I did a really good job back then of making my house as homey as it was for me and my kids. And it felt warm and it felt like home to us. And when I started this channel, that was my goal was I remembered where I had come from just 10 years earlier and decided that this was something that I wanted to share with everybody because there has to be be people in this world that are in the same boat that I was in. And there's no reason for you not to have nice things with just a little bit of DIYing. And to me, DIYing and crafting is so therapeutic. And, and it, it really, it came at the perfect time in my life because my mom had just passed away and it kept me busy. And I, I think that that was in a way my mom touching my life and helping me achieve this goal along with you guys. And so, Thank you guys so much. Um, wow, I wanna look at some of your comments. I don't wanna be rude and ignore you, so I wanna read some of your comments because um, you guys are amazing. And so, oh goodness, Jenny, thank you. Angela, Angel, thank you all so, so much. Oh, you know what? Thank you for saying that for the loss of my mom. Um, you know, she's, I gotta think she's still with me. And so, uh, yeah. Oh, thank you. Oh, all of you. I love seeing all of you. Oh, doing DIYs, Rachel. Oh, I love hearing that. That is awesome. You know what? Betty, I hope that God does continue to bless my hands because that really is where the creativity comes out of and uh, my mind too. you know, keep the ideas coming. That's what I pray for so much. Oh, I love all of you. Oh, you know what? This is my moment along with your moment too, because so many of you, you know, I, I love seeing it when I see you all say, you know, I've been with you from 200 subscribers and Look how far you came. And I tell you, I go back and I look at those videos and, you know, it is embarrassing, but you know what? It is what it is. The lighting was horrible on those videos. The sound was horrific. I don't even think that you could hear a word I was saying and how I could edit a video and think that the dark room of me standing in it when I was making a bathrobe was okay is beyond me. But it was a video that I edited. I uploaded it and posted it and it got views. And now I look back at it and I really do laugh. And I just think, you know what? It is all part of growing. It is part of, you know, blossoming and becoming what it is that I've become on YouTube now. And I tell you, there is still more to grow and learn and become. This is just the beginning. And I'm sure three or four years from now, I'll look back on these videos and cringe and think like, oh my word, what was I thinking? But, you know, giving up is one of those things that's just not an option in my book. I've always taught my kids that there is no giving up, you know, especially with Kayla when she used to play soccer and the coach would be down on her and not play her and she'd want to give up. I'd always tell her, no, you just dig deeper and you keep on and on and on and you keep pushing and pushing. And I feel like that for everybody. Like if there's one message that I could give to everybody in this world, it would be to strive for something and to set a goal for yourself, no matter what it is. And to keep pushing and driving yourself until you achieve it. You don't ever let somebody knock you down and tell you you can't do it. You don't ever like let somebody's opinion sway whether you should do it or not. You just do what you have set your mind to doing and the goal that you set. And I just feel like if you do that, you're going to succeed. There's no way you won't. And so, um, yeah, 
Rachel says she also wants to let me know that her daughter watches my channel. Oh, she does all kinds of DIYs. Yay. Oh, it is therapeutic, Rachel. That is awesome. Yes, thank you all so much. And I love that I inspire you all. And I know it's been a while since I've posted a, a video of all of your creations, but I promise you now, I do love seeing all of your creations on Facebook. It's a bit easier for me to see them on Facebook than it is on Instagram. And so I do keep them all. And I just recently filmed a video of everybody's creations on that they've sent me through Facebook and Instagram. And I will be posting that within the next week. And so um, <laughs> you should be in your bathrobe in the dark because that's, <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> I love you guys. Oh, thank you. Joyce Boston. Hi, you have been a subscriber for a really long time, Joyce. You are one of those names that has not appeared and then disappear. And I got to be honest with you, I hate it when I see that because I see all of you subscribers in the comments. And whether you know this or not, I read each and every single comment. I try to respond to as many as I can. As my channel is growing, it does get a bit more demanding to respond to each and every comment, but I promise you I read them and I heart every single one that I read so you know that I personally read it and I do respond to comments. And you know, it's hard when I see a name that comes up all the time and it comes up and then all of a sudden the names will disappear. And, and then I remember them and I remember what a great support they were. And it always makes me a bit sad to see those people maybe not so active on YouTube because they were people that I've kind of grown a relationship with uh, through the comments. And you know, it's, it's like losing a friend a little bit or missing a friend. And so, you know, I enjoy seeing all of you in the comments and active in the comments and getting your feedback. And so keep up the comments because I enjoy it. I do. Miss Cheeks just subscribed early this year. Yay! Thank you. Thank you. And Michelle Atkins. Oh, keep. Oh, awesome. Allison Barlow. Where's the party at? <laughs> my daughter just got on. Oh, Jeff is on. My husband. If you guys see that, Jeff Barlow, that's my husband. Oh, thank you, Jeff. Thank you, thank you. Allie wanted to know where the party was at. She's on her iPad. She is such a nut. Where is everybody from? I want to hear where everybody's from. Elizabeth, welcome to my channel. Thank you for stopping by and subscribing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, not only crafting videos, but... Oh, Mammoth with our family. That is my favorite vacation trip, I tell you. I tell you, I love it. Okay, here we go. We've got Florida, Tennessee, Virginia, Louisiana. This is my favorite part. I love seeing where all of you are from. Texas. Oh, it's flying up. Yay. Oh, somebody says Palmdale. Karen, Karen, that was... Karen Mitchell is one of my oldest and dearest friends. Karen, if that was you, you better comment again so I can see you. That is so funny. Oh my goodness, Boston, Missouri. Oh, thank you, Laura. Illinois, Chicago, San Diego, Baltimore. I love it, you guys. I am so humbled right now. Look at all of you popping up. That is amazing. New Jersey, Missouri. Tennessee, Delaware, the UK is in the house, guys. Yay! Rancho Cucamonga, Fino, Nebraska. It is Karen. Hi, Karen. Oh, how funny is that? <laughs> okay, I'm not a little embarrassed now, but that's okay. Kentucky, Vermont. Oh, my goodness. Puerto Rico. Yes! The Pink Flamingo is in here. Hi! You are active in my comments, too. Thank you. England. Wow, you guys. Thank you all so much for joining me. That is amazing. And I know for some of you, it's probably close to 7 o'clock at night. Wow. Kentucky. Um, West Virginia. Oh, Sabrina, thank you. That's nice. Oh, inspires me to keep going. 
40 subscribers. Oh, I'm going to tell you, you keep going with that 40 subscribers. Don't you give up. I'm going to tell you something, and I'm not much of a speech personer, as you can tell, but there was a time when I started YouTube, you had to have 20,000 subscribers to become a partner of YouTube. And I remember so many people when I said, I'm going to start posting videos on YouTube because I think I've got some crafty ideas that people will like to see and I think it'll help somebody and people were like okay well who's gonna watch them and I was like well maybe not too many people now or just my friends and family but someday maybe hopefully somebody will watch and I remember I would get 17 subscribers 20 subscribers and the big joke was okay only 19,980 more to go before YouTube recognizes you and I thought like wow that, that seems impossible to some people, but to me, I think, okay, only 19,980 more to go. I've got 20. I'll get there. And you know what? I got there. Oh, at least, at least telling you to subscribe to her channel. <laughs> oh, you guys, I got to love my little go-getter. YouTube was trying to tell me to hide her. And I said, no, show her. That is so cute. <laughs> yeah, so Allie's got like, I think almost 700. Kayla has almost 800. If you guys want to head on over to their channel, this isn't meant to be a plug, but both my girls have their own channels. Um, at the end of this live stream, I'll leave a link to their channels in the description box below if you want to click over there and see some of the fun that they have on their channels. Uh, they're really finding their way, and so it's fun to watch them blossom and metamorphose into uh, what they're going to be here on YouTube. I can only imagine what it'll be in about 10 years. That'll be fun. Oh, Ida, thank you. That, oh, and Angel says she subscribed to Kayla's channel. You guys, oh, the Lord is using you in ways he needs. Thank you. Oh, what is all the talk about a robe, please? Okay, so the robe uh, was one of my first DIY hotel style bathrobes that I made, uh, I want to say, 425 videos ago. And really, I, I think I have about 435 videos. And um, oh, my husband, I guess, didn't get to see the button yet. He wants to see the button. He must have gotten, he's at work, so he must have gotten a run. Isn't that pretty, Jeff? Look at how pretty that is. It says my name right there. That B is the B in your last name, dear husband. That's what that B is, the KB. That's beautiful. But yeah, the robe is, um, like I said, about 425 videos ago. It was one of the very first robes uh, videos, DIYs that I made. And honestly, it is a great uh, robe if you watch the video and want to make it. I really show you how. I think the video might be an hour long. <laughs> honestly, I think uh, because I really just had no sense of how long to make a video. But it, the robe is amazing. I still make them to this day. Everybody in my family has these hotel style robes that I made for $20 using Costco towels. And uh, I have the pattern on there and everything. It's probably a video I should redo, but for the fun of it, I keep it up because I get a kick out of the comments that people make when uh, they watch the video about the lighting and me talking way too much. But, you know, you live and learn. Joyce, you, did you make a robe? I don't know if you said you did. So I see you saying, I love mine. So Joyce, you got to answer again if you made the robe. Yeah, Amy, you'll have to watch it. You'll probably get a laugh out of it, one of my newer videos, but, you know, uh, Allison, I want to make sure my daughter subscribes you. She, oh, yay. Thank you, Infinity. Look for that video. You know what? Just for the fun of it, I will post the link to that video in the description box below of this live stream as well. And so if you want to check it out, check it out. No judgment, though. You got to be nice because it's not the best one. Oh, you did. Okay. And you have it on now. Yay. See, that's how long Joyce has been with me. 400 and probably 35 videos ago she was with me. 
All right, Allie says I'm cute. Oh, good golly, she is. She has, no, she's humble too, isn't she? That's funny. All the way to your first video. Oh, you felt, oh my goodness, you saw that first video. That is embarrassing where I told you why I was joining YouTube in my, in my Arizona sweater. <laughs> That's funny. I, I swear, I think I was like looking way off yonder too. It was so funny. Yes, I will post the robe video. Like I said, though, full disclosure, it's like an hour long, so feel free to like zip through it. But I show you the pattern, and I, I, I think I actually sewed the whole robe together in the video. <laughs> and so, yeah, but it's a great robe, and it works really well. And so, you know, it's part of it, watching with me. Oh, clapping his hand. <laughs> oh, Rachel, that's awesome. Yeah, okay, guys, I will definitely leave it in the link below. Uh, real quick, is there any questions that you have for me since we're on here? I have a little bit more time to do this live stream. Um, here comes little Allie. I think she's going to pop in and say hi. For those of you who have not met Allie, my daughter, who is the Allie in Allie's Attic. She started school last week. Don't you touch that play button and put fingerprints on it. And so... Um, over the cartwheel um I had to make the curtains from the oh from the flat bed sheet you know what I should it was it was one of those you know you can go to Walmart and you can you can buy a twin size flat sheet for like 250 and I just knew that if I bought two of them it would be five dollars for curtains instead of 20 or 30 and you can just about get any color you want any print you want and so it is just the easiest way to do it. And I even made a bed skirt out of flat sheets because I wanted a bed skirt and bed skirts were expensive. Where do I get my inspiration from? Um, I, from Allie. Um, I get, I would say I now, in the beginning, I would use Pinterest quite often. But now I, I really just, I, my inspiration honestly comes in my sleep. Uh, I, I come up with a lot of my videos in dreams and in my sleep because my brain honestly never rests. It is always going 100 miles an hour. And so that honestly is why I love Mammoth so much because Mammoth is one of those places where it like forces my brain to stop because you can't help but enjoy the beauty of nature around you. But um, uh, a lot of my inspiration just comes from uh, maybe you have a video request for me or um, my my love for farmhouse decor. The more farmhouse decor I can make, the better. And so that's kind of uh, where uh, it comes from. Do a video on the curtains? I will. And the bed skirt? That'll be another video. Okay, cool. I'll do that. And Infinity is about to do the DIY headboard. Cool. I love that. I'm challenging you to make an easy jelly roll rug. Uh, like, the, are you, um, Cooper, are you referring to the jelly roll quilting rug? Is that what you're referring to? Because that's the quilts that I've made for the kids is out of a jelly roll. Can somebody text me? Um... Sofa slip covers. This oh, is our guinea pig this, called the Oakley. Oh, yeah. Allie brought little Oakley out. Isn't the Oakley just so stinking cute? And, of course, she's brown because I am the brownest person in the world. Everything in, uh, what is a, what is jelly roll? Everything, I, I'm an earth tones person, and so, of course, look, Oakley matches me. Okay, take Oakley. <sighs> Um, what is a jelly roll? A jelly roll is uh, those rolls of fabric that you can get at Joann's, Michael's, Hobby Lobby, even uh, Walmart. And they're the real thin ones and it's a full roll. And you sew the roll together and you can make a jelly roll quilt. Isn't Oakley adorable? She is such a stinker. Um, so yeah, and, and it's the easy, if you've never quilted a day in your life, a jelly roll is the easy, you don't even need to know really how to sew to make a jelly roll quilt. And so it's really cool and it's an easy quilt. And I really wanted to make a quilt for each of my kids. And so that was the kind of quilt that I made. 
switch to Moroccan decor. Now back to farmhouse. Nice, Diana. Okay, yes, that's what you're referring to. Okay, I'll have to uh, do a little bit of research because I don't know that I've ever seen a rug unless it's made out of the rope where you roll it. Um, but I'll look into that. I've made a basket out of the jelly roll and made a DIY basket with rope, rope that came out really cool. A while back, Allie had a rash. I told you about, did it work? Okay, so Allie's rash is, it ended up after, I would say, uh, five months of going to uh, two or three different doctors. And finally, uh, one dermatologist found out that Allie had tinea. And so um, it's kind of a fungal thing, but um, I think it's something that she's going to have forever. Fingers crossed she doesn't. Um, it comes out with the heat, and um, yeah, it took about uh, five or six months for it to go away. And so um, they had to put her on uh, an oral medication to make it finally go away. Google's Jelly Roll Quilt. Oh, LEB, is that what you're Googling right now? What it is? You'll love it. What time is it there? Um, it is 3.30 here, guys. My antique lanterns. Oh, thank you. Yeah, but Allie's good. You know, it, it, it was a rough time for her because it had spread all over her face and it went down her neck and onto her arms and it, it got bad. It got to the point where there were a few days she didn't go to school because it was so bad. And so... Um, used a denim needle okay but yeah she's good now and we're just hoping that uh it doesn't come back and uh yeah you're ready for fall diys mama bear they um i think that was who said that uh did i lose it i'm ready for fall diys yeah they are coming i just did an awesome dollar tree haul yesterday that i filmed yesterday um, so, uh, it will be up and somebody would like to see a vintage shabby chic, like the 20 style. Ooh, I, I love that style. That is my favorite time. The clothing and just the era is so neat. Oh, Allie says, bye you guys. <laughs> uh, trying to talk my father-in-law into helping me make some mason jar lamp. Oh, I love my mason jar lamps. I think I have four of them. Hey, wait, you can't cut up my phone. Mama, it's already cut up. And I cut off the sweater. Oh, strips of clothes to make a rug. As, as, um, as morbid as this may sound to some of you, I really um, want to ask my stepdad for uh, some of my mom's clothes. Uh, he still has them, and it's been three years, so I think I'm in a place mentally where I could probably cut up her clothes, and I would like to make a quilt out of her clothes. And it'll probably be an emotional quilt, but it'll be a really cool one. Do I do paper crafting at all? I do. I got it. I love paper crafting. I absolutely love, love, love my Cricut. Um, I, I just don't do too many on my channel. I will do one here and there, and I kind of haven't done one in a while because um, the response isn't really great when I use my Cricut. Um, because so many people don't have a Cricut, um, if I'm going to use the Cricut, I need to give an alternative to how they can do whatever I'm doing in that DIY without using a Cricut. And sometimes that can be a bit challenging. And so um, I, I do. I Cricut all the time here at home. You guys just don't see it. And I love my Cricut. So that, that's the hard part about doing them. I end up getting... Um, a lot of frustrated viewers when I do them. And so, yeah. Book folding, do you have any good ideas for decorating them? I would really like to do, like what I'm thinking about doing is like a junk book, one of those uh, junk journals. Uh, I had I had dabbled in it and I've done some pages and I've done a couple because I have like a binder that I can make those books that you can put the spirals in. And um, I, I would like to do a junk journal on my channel.
Amy, you're doing a junk journal? About your mom. Yeah, that would be nice. You made a pillow. Oh, that's awesome. Sweatshirt, it came out great. I would love that. 6.30 in Michigan. A jelly roll quilt. Oh, she, Ellie B looked it up. <laughs> Good. Do you make sayings with your cricket and sell them to people who don't have a way to make them? Um, I, I used to do that. I don't make a lot of things to sell. Um, it, it's just something that's not for me. I like to, I, I get bored and I don't do craft sales. I don't do, you look cute, baby. This I don't, so you got to wear a tank top. Um, I don't do craft sales or anything like that. Uh, the items that I make on my channel, if I don't use them here in my house, they they either end up, I end up gifting them to somebody or they end up on a shelf in the garage. And once I've accumulated enough to sell, I have a yard sale here at home and then I just sell them. And so um, I do like, I have sayings all over my house that I have made with my Cricut. Um, and it is such a budget friendly way um, to make you know do the sayings up on your wall instead of buying them uh will you do a recycled project i did um i kind of did a recycled jeans um project i did a really neat cross out of jeans from alleys that i had that i had cut up and made shorts and um almost dropped in for a swim um <laughs> that's funny brenda <laughs> um But yeah, it came out really cute. The the recycled jeans cross came out really cute. Has a fall festival every year. Oh, that's awesome, Rachel Thomas. That is really cool. Oh, okay, Sabrina saw the cross. Right, right on. Oh, good. I missed the, uh, here, Diana, I'll show it to you. Stay on and I'll show you guys again. Here it is. I'll show it again. Look at how pretty that is. I'm trying to get the light out of it. There we go. It's kind of like awkward, but there is the pretty button. Isn't that pretty? I love it. I don't even know where I'm going to put this. I mean, should I just put it right up here for everybody to see every time I do a video? <laughs> Aww. Um. Somebody made something and put it on my Facebook page. I bet it does not look terrible. I don't believe that. <laughs> the burlap cross was quite nice. Uh, that burlap cross, it goes down, is probably one of my favorite DIYs. It is such a simple yet rustic uh, DIY. And what a fantastic gift to give. I made probably 10 or 20 of them the year that I did that cross on YouTube and uploaded it and I gifted one to everyone. And I tell you, the response, everybody loved them. They really did. And um, that it's so easy, but it is so rustic and yeah. There's three, Diana. <laughs> Never seen so many in one place. Okay, so I recognize Diana McMo McMahon, McMahon. I recognize your picture. I recognize a lot of your angel kisses. I recognize your picture. Infinity X, I recognize your picture. Like, I recognize your pictures from some of the comments going way back when. That's awesome. First time seeing you live. Very excited. I thank you so much. I haven't been live in a really long time. Uh, Mama Bear doesn't like farmhouse, but you still watch my videos. Thank you. You know what, though? And that doesn't offend me because the idea is not, I, I don't put these out for you all to copy my idea exactly, unless you want to, of course. The idea is there so you see the video and you think like, oh, wow, I would have never thought of that. What a great idea. And then you somehow make it your own style and make it your own. That that really is what it's about. And and that's probably one of my favorite things is, you know, sure, it, it's nice to see that people, you know, do and replicate my DIYs, but it's really cool to see your take on it and your spin on it and what you do with it with your style. 
And that's what I like. And so um, th that's the best part for me. You know, people always say, well, doesn't it offend you? I'm like, heck no. My favorite part is seeing the spin that everybody puts on it and how creative people get and how different it looks and yet the same. You know, that's the best part. Um, oh, thank you guys. With the pigs. Oh, nice. Nice. I think it was me. Oh, okay. You know what? I think that that burlap cross actually just made it into my subscriber creations video because I was like, oh, wow, that is an old video and somebody watched it and did it. And so that's cool. I like that. At least I know my old videos are still being watched, right? In the Dollar Tree. Oh, gosh. Heather. <laughs> I think, Heather, my husband probably felt the same. And so... um yeah, it's hard not to go in there and spend a ton of money. I tell you, it really is. And not get things that I don't need. Now I'm just really making sure I go in there and just get the things I need for a DIY and nothing extra. Do I watch other Dollar Tree ladies like Bargain Bethany and Pretty and Flawed? I have heard of Pretty and Flawed. I do not watch her, but Bargain Bethany is actually my YouTube BFF. Uh, we've done several uh, collaborations together, and we are really, really good friends. I adore her. She is amazing, and she has helped me immensely with her knowledge, and um, she's an all-around great person. You know, what I get off of YouTube from her is just an amazing friend, very supportive, and uh, she helps me out a lot whenever I have questions, and she's a real person. She's not somebody who's ugly and competitive and doesn't want to help another YouTuber out when they don't understand something. And so uh, whenever I have a question, I can easily uh, message her and she'll answer me no problem. Yeah, I love her to pieces. You'll have to go back and uh, watch some of our collaborations. We did a vanity uh, mirror together. And then we did a, a, just recently, we did a Goodwill challenge together. And uh, that was a fun video to do together. And um, I think we'll probably, we like to get together every now and again and do projects. Another person that I absolutely adore, and if you all haven't heard of her, uh, you need to go check her out, is a story of my life. She is the sweetest girl ever, and I adore her. We've done a collaboration before. She's younger but uh, she, she does a lot of glam, and she has a lot of amazing ideas. And, um, and so, yeah, you'll have to, you should go check out Story of My Life because she is a great Dollar Tree DIYer. And she's in the midst of her channel growing, and so I want to see her be successful on this platform, and she deserves it because she's very talented and creative. I think everything froze for a second. Taco Stacker is another one I watch. Does she do DIY, like Dollar Tree DIYs? I'm a dollar store junkie too. I'm a 99 cent store junkie too. I wish everybody had more access to a 99 cent store because they've got amazing stuff there. Although it shouldn't be called 99 cent only, but they still have great prices. It's kind of deceiving, the store title, but... Oh, thank you. Your favorite DIY was the flag out of the wooden. I love that. I, you know what? I'm actually, I wiped Dollar Tree out of their blocks. And then I started ordering them online because you can order a case for 24. And that's what a lot of people in my family are getting for Christmas is those wooden flags. So, and they're not that hard to make. Oh, he's a garbage picker. I've watched a couple of those videos, like the dumpster diving people, and they find some pretty good stuff. I mean, I wish I I could do something like that and maybe redo it, but yeah, they find some stuff, but they get some slack from like the people from the store. Oh, Heather, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 
Yeah, those spikes, they're not hard to make, you know? The people, the people that are getting that for Christmas are probably not even on here right now. So that's okay. Was the rosary? Mm, so yeah, that was right after my mama. I made one of those for my brother. What was the last YouTube you said I didn't ca catch the name? Wait, oh, uh, story of my life. She's a sweetheart, yeah. Wood flag, when did I make that? Uh, it was made out of Dollar Tree's uh, mini version of Jenga blocks. And um, it, it, it came out really cool. And it was a, a pretty good size wood flag. And um, yeah, it was cool. You'll have to go back and see that. There's a, it's on the thumbnail and it was maybe a month and a half ago. So I would look back maybe 20 or 30 videos in my videos and you'll probably find it. Jerry White, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Story is great. She is the sweetest girl with such a kind, pure heart. Long Island, New York. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. All right, everybody. Well, I am going to... Uh, oh, you made the bracelet. Jenga blocks, and it turned out... Oh, okay. Thank you, Angel. Well, everybody, I am going to wrap this... Uh, live feed up and I am going to enjoy the rest of my Friday with Allison because my two other kids are working, Jeff is working and so I am just going to enjoy the rest of my night with her. I will be posting a uh, Big Lots haul tomorrow that you will have to stay tuned for and a Dollar Tree new finds and upcoming uh, DIY crafting items. I did a really big Dollar Tree haul that I found some amazing items so you'll have to stay tuned for those two the Big Lots is a come shop with me and the Dollar Tree is a haul. And so you'll have to stay tuned for those videos this week and an upcoming subscriber creations video that I will get out to you in the next couple weeks and of course more DIYs to come. Thank you all again so much for coming on here and joining me today. And again, thank you so much for the support that you gave me that allowed me to achieve this amazing milestone and goal of receiving this recognition from YouTube of uh, passing 100,000 subscribers. Uh, this uh, was definitely the prize that I had my eye on when I started this journey. And now I will tell you, I am not going to stop until I get the gold button. And you know, for some, they may say that it's not gonna happen, but for others, if you know me, I I'm not gonna, count myself out yet. Thank you all so much. I hope that you all have an incredible weekend this weekend. And if you are new to my channel, thank you for stopping by. Click that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And of course, if you click it when that bell appears, YouTube will notify you when I'm uploading a new video. If you're interested in following me on social media, those links are in the description box below, along with my PO box if you're interested in sending me mail and watching me open it up in a video. And until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy crafting on a budget and an even better weekend. And bye for now, everybody. Thank you for joining me.